Hey, it's your gamer friend Petey, and we're back in my solo Minecraft Let's Play world. It the uh, world seed is Petey Games, just like my channel name, and you can also follow me on Twitter. It's at Petey Games. Um, in case you want to make sure that you don't miss any episodes, or if I have any channel updates, or I miss, or I'm late, or whatever, you'll know right away by checking my Twitter feed. Anyway, um, I want to continue on working on my new under the farm rail system Oops. but I thought before we go into the mines and do all that crazy stuff I better uh, use up some of my XP and let's go for trying to make another fortune pick maybe we'll be lucky this time maybe we'll be fortunate even with our fortune pick so let's use up some of our loose diamonds here and let's see. Okay, we have 37 levels, so this should snap here. So um, stick with my superstition. How oh, you can enchant an egg of having two lines of text. Uh, please give me fortune. God damn it! Another silk touch pick. That's three. What am I going to do with all these silk touch picks? I don't even know. Well, I know what I'm going to do with one. Efficiency four. This one's efficient. Okay, they're all the same, right? Could run break the three. <sighs> Man, that sucks. Well, um, if you watched the last episode, um, oh, you know what? I don't have any. Oh, I guess I do have a sword. I was lying. That's good enough. I'm just going to quickly run down to where, um, we discovered those diamonds and silk touch them out. We'll use our new silk touch pick, even though I have two other ones to choose from. I noticed I was reading some comments and someone said something that kind of bothered me. Um, well, not bothered, but um, they said that someone was stupid because um, everyone knows, this is what the person said, everyone knows that reeds grow faster in uh, they grow faster in sand than they do in dirt and I know that that was like a long held belief for a long time but a lot of people have disproven it and um, so I thought I made myself I've made myself a little uh, piston machine to automatically break the reeds and uh, and you know it Oh, oh. Okay, hello. Oh, God, there will be mobs. <laughs> Did I hear a... I swear I heard a creeper jump, too. I don't know, see now, so... Anyway, um... So, I started to record that, and then, um... Here's my diamonds. No creepers around. Click, click. Oops, I just so touched a nice piece of stone there. Oh. That was it, right? Five? Yep. So, anyway, I um, spent about an hour and a half. Uh, almost an hour and 50 minutes, to be honest. Because I also did another project. Because I, I basically wanted... Oh my god, I was this iron. Um, because I, if you've been watching my series, you know that I have this theory that um, that you get more pumpkins by not keeping them in a row, but rather just... Um, can we get up here? Please. Uh, you know, keeping them staggered so that they have all eight blocks around them free. And I've had discussions with people about it, and a lot of people disagree, so I did a sort of scientific experiment. And I, re and I recorded all this. And, um, in fact, uh, I did 25 uh, pumpkin vines. And I did 18, uh, 18 regular uh, uh, staggered ones. 
and um, guess which one won? <laughs> the staggered ones, almost like two and a half to one, uh, beat the the uh, beat the ones that were all lined up in a row. Uh, even though there were only eighteen vines for one of them, and uh, where is the entrance? That's the problem. Okay, I think I have to go up higher, right? It's higher. Than here, let's just do this. Let's just dig our way up. Yep. All right. So where is now? Where is it? <laughs> ah, here it is. Anyway, um, but it, it's an hour and 50 minutes long, and I was really trying to condense it into 15 minutes, but um, as you can imagine, that's sort of like Mission Impossible, and I don't think anyone wants to watch me stand around for two hours waiting for reeds and pumpkins to grow. I don't think that's a really compelling video, so I ended up not releasing it, and um, I don't know. I'll have to figure out. I mean, I kind of want to... Oh boy, night time. Oh, look how nice my city looks from here. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> That's funny, that tower does like... I guess it was just a little bit outside of the view distance. And look at all these skellies. Oh man, poor sheep. You took one for the team, buddy. Why is there a skeleton here? It's supposed to be lit up. Oh, there's a skeleton right there, right next to me. Okay, okay, okay. Up it. Oh, my hunger's down. Please let me sleep. Okay, good. They didn't follow me fast enough. Hey, my time works. Let's see. Alright, so, let's put, let me put the, oh look, he did follow me, he just didn't get there fast enough. That's a free XP, I think. Anyway, so, uh, I don't know, I, uh, maybe I'll work over the next couple weeks of, and try to, um, try to edit it down to, more reasonable size, but um, there's no way it can be a 15 video. I mean, not, not right now. Look, we have 38 blocks of diamonds. <sighs> and I only have three loose diamonds now. That sucks. Um, anyway, in case you don't know what I mean, basically, see, like, like the way, the way this is planted. See, there's every block around it uh, doesn't interfere. And then collect, this one is right next to it, but it has its own separate buffer of blocks. And that creates basically a higher percentage of pumpkins to grow. Rather if you kept them all like planted like one after the other, blah, 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 with only one square to go to, they just don't uh they they don't it doesn't work. Anyway, I'm just going to throw this to the smelter. I'm not going to smelt it. I don't want to take this meat. What else I can get? No. Nope. Okay. Let me go look. Before we go into our mine, um, let's go look. Let's see how our little track thing is going. So yeah, we've got some stuff. 
Oh, I also fixed, I don't know if you saw the other episode where it wasn't picking up some of the stuff. Um, basically, you have to point, like, like this. Here. Okay, so I have the, I have this, uh, popper, right? So, what you want to do is you want to point it at the place you want it to go to. Oh, no, you have to shift click when it's a container. And then it starts to... It starts to so, like, here what I was doing was I was clicking against the block, and I was pointing at the block instead of pointing down at this container. So, right, this is supposed to be pointing at this container. That's a mistake. I guess. Okay. That's just for overflow reasons. But uh, basically, this thing, this thing is just going around. There's a hopper cart, and it's going around, and it's sucking up anything that gets dropped. So eggs, mostly, um, in this case. But uh, you know, I dropped some carrots, and I killed some cows and stuff, and a couple sheep. So there's some wool. But um, it's just going around, and it's just picking up, just, just picking up everything that's on the ground, and it's putting it into this chest room. That way it doesn't despawn, and, but I need more rails. I probably need like two and a half or three stacks of rails, so we're gonna go to one of my old mines and see if there's any rails there. I kind of think there aren't any rails there. There we go. Oh no, there's a stupid sheep. Shot it just a half second too late. <laughs> Alright, fine, we'll just run the rest of the way. Okay, so we have three stacks of rail now. Um, we're going to need some power. Hold on.
turn on the volume for the sound. a lever Now I have to do this. Otherwise, the, there's no room for the for the cart to swim. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
stone in. finished. It's a terrible project. Makes me smirk every time I hear that tone. figured out. Well, yeah, they're gonna intersect. They will. I was just worried. That. It's gonna go off the rails in a second. right over there. Not like it's in an inaccessible place or anything. Oof. As simple as this project was, it kind of took a lot of me. I mean, technologically, it's not that hard, right? Oh man, come on. Tedious, to be honest. Plus all the hunting. Materials. This is our last power draft, so they can count. Oh, okay. 
might as well do it all the way to the end, right? So that... To make sure that it's picked up. There we go. Finito. This game, yeah, it's got eggs in it, so it's working. This one's got stuff in it. So let's just go look at our cart and add the hopper to it. Just drop this bad boy right here where there's a power rail. Go. Shit. Oh, I muscle. Well, I don't have room for it in my inventory. I was going to say I might as well pick this stuff up, but... Oh, no. Why did you stop? Why did you stop? I wasn't paying attention. Did you run out of juice? Oh, you're on top of a power rail. You don't have enough. Yeah, we're missing a couple of rails. It looks like. Damn it. All right. Well, I have to fix that. All right. Well, let's go fix that real fast. Make a couple more power drills. Thought I was using too many. Oh, now I'm stuck. So I kind of cheaped out. Guess I was using just enough. Gold. Oh, actually, I can do it like this. Uh, let's see. Two, three, two, three. Six more. It's more than. Redstone blocks for three, so I have to make these count. The problem is let's make this one powered rail.
make sure it does a whole cycle. So it's cool now. Next. Yeah, there it goes. Let's see what it's wrong. No raw meat. Nothing. Got all the eggs in this one. Okay. Well, that's it. We did it. Um work on the half timber house next time. <laughs> this uh, took up way more time than I thought it would, as usual. Well, now we've got a bunch of rails. I overestimated by one stack how many we need it, it looks like, so. Well, now we have extra rails, so. No big deal. By well over the stack, actually. Okay guys, so thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. And uh yeah. PD out. <laughs>